great news, the next generation iPhone SE will get a completely different design to the current SE design we have right now. However, will it be a 5.7 inch or a 6.1 inch display that we will get on it? Well, today I want to go over the specs and also want to let you guys know the new iPhone SE release date and price. So let's be honest, a lot of us are quite disappointed with the 2022 iPhone SE model. The only main changes are 5G and a chipset that is about 30% faster than the last generation iPhone SE. If you didn't know already, there's been three iPhone SE models from Apple over the years. We had the first in 2016, what was based on the iPhone 5S design. And then in 2020, we had the second generation iPhone SE, what is based on the iPhone 8 design and again that old design was used again for the 2022 iPhone SE. From what we have seen is the SE models tend to have the latest chipset inside them from the flagship phones released the year before with the price being the lowest that Apple can offer at that time. So looking forward to the fourth generation iPhone SE the great news is that we're going to be getting some big changes. This time for the 2023 iPhone SE model, we'll be getting a full new design. Ross Young has already said that the next generation iPhone SE will have a larger display and it will also be revealed to have a 5.7 or a 6.1 inch display. With these two displays, it is likely that the next iPhone will be based on either the iPhone X or you may call that the iPhone X design. And then that design was used all the way, all the way up to say the iPhone 11 Pro. And the other design, what this iPhone SE could follow is the likes of the iPhone XR or the XR or even the iPhone 11 design with that 6.1 inch display. We have heard multiple sources since 2021 saying the next iPhone SE could either be either of these two designs of the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 10R design. If the design is similar to an iPhone XR, will it be an exact design copy with Face ID? Well, very recently we had a report from Minchi Kuo who has said that the next iPhone SE will not have a Touch ID button. We thought we could be getting a standby Touch ID button like we get on the iPad Air and the Mini, but this does not seem the case anymore and it does look like we'll be getting Face ID. So if the new iPhone SE does come out next year, it will essentially have the chipset that we have right now, which just introduced into the iPhone 14 range. What is that brand new A16 Bionic? Because this is what Apple like to do. They like to put the latest chipset in their SE models. However, we did just see though that the normal iPhone 14 does retain the A15, but that A15 chipset again is inside the iPhone SE that we currently have right now, but does have one less GPU core. I think the main thing to take away from this is the next generation iPhone SE will be at least one inch bigger for its screen size than the current iPhone SE that we have right now. And this is something what everyone's crying out for. They want a slightly larger iPhone SE and they want a new design too. Now just quickly a quick note, with leaks being so early and to be honest any leaks even up to the iPhone SE release date that I find and I show to you guys a lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true but there are some that can get misinterpreted based on the facts that the leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. No leak or rumour is 100% true until the final iPhone SE is being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're also watching this video still, then you as curious as I am in knowing what the next generation iPhone SE is going to be like and want to know all the latest leaks and rumours are, no matter what they tell us. So next of all, let's talk about the release date. And I think I just want to do a quick summary here of when each iPhone SE model has come out. So the first generation iPhone SE came out in 2016 and it came out on March 31st. And then the 2020 iPhone SE model came out on April 24th. Then the latest iPhone SE model, the 2022 one, came out on March 18th. So with this, we can see that the release date will probably be at a spring event. This also makes a lot of sense 
stands, as normally Apple use the other side of the year, full time, to release the likes of their flagship phones, so in 2022, the iPhone 14 for example. Apple would not want to jeopardise the sales of either the SE or the flagship phones with releasing them at the same time. For the year of the actual release, well, based on the second generation and the third generation iPhones being two years apart, then this makes sense for the fourth generation iPhone SE to come out probably in 2024. However, the sales of the current third generation iPhone SE have been really poor and not many people have decided to buy it and decided to either get themselves a second generation SE or even buying themselves say a used iPhone 12 mini for example and getting around the same price as a current iPhone SE 2022 model and yet getting a bigger screen inside it. So just quickly guys, one thing you may know about my channel if you've been around here for a while or if you're brand new here, let me tell you something. I love to do giveaways on this channel. I love to give something back to you guys because I talk about all this brand new Apple stuff and some of you guys just can't afford to get your hands on it. So I love to give some of it away to you guys or give you the opportunity to maybe get your hands on it. And that's what we're doing right now. And in fact, at the end of September time, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these three prizes and three lucky people are going to win these prizes. So one prize per each person. And let me go through each of these prizes. The first one is going to be this. It's going to be AirPods Pro. I'm going to be giving away this to one lucky person. Then after that, I've also got here the Apple Watch S. And I'm also going to be giving this away to one lucky person too. And then finally, as you can see here, the grand prize we have here, an Apple Watch Ultra. I will also be giving away to one lucky person on this channel. And all you have to do to enter in, you can be anywhere in the world. So it's an international giveaway. It's just put down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're planning to buy in 2023. Put it down in the comments below. And also make sure if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when I'll be doing the announcement of the giveaway, you won't want to miss out on that because it will be a live stream around about the end of September time. Now, just quickly guys, one last thing. I do want to say there are lots of scammers and spammers out there, a lot of them impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp them, Telegram them, part with your money for shipping and things like this. This is not me. You've heard it from me right now. I will be paying for all the shipping and taxes like this. Do not part with any of your money. And with that, guys, let's return back to the video and let's now talk about the actual hardware specs that we're expecting to see in the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. And also, I'm going to tell you about those prices that are expected too. So next of all, let's talk about the specs of the next generation iPhone SE and also the prices as well. And the best way to do this is give you a summary page and what this will look like for the next generation iPhone. So the next generation iPhone, the iPhone SE 4, at the moment, like I have said already, there's a possibility that we could be getting a 5.7 inch or a 6.1 inch display. I'm gonna be sticking with the 6.1 inch display for this um, summary that you're seeing here. So based on that, we'll probably be getting an LCD display, and this is very similar to what we have currently in the current iPhone um, SE model, and also we had this like in the iPhone 11, the iPhone 10R, for example, and that actual LCD display will just be a 60 hertz display, and basically it'll come with a resolution of 2532 by 1170. There'll be no pro motion here whatsoever. But for RAM, we're probably going to be most likely getting four gigabytes of RAM inside this iPhone SE and then storage will probably be offering a starting amount of 128 gigabytes this time and then also offering a 256 gigabyte storage option. Inside it we'll probably be getting an A16 Bionic with 5G connectivity. The A16 is the same chip that we have in the likes of say the iPhone 14 and basically this will probably be moved over inside to the next generation iPhone SE. We'll also be getting an aluminium body 
and then on the rear we're probably most likely going to be getting either a 12 megapixel single camera if it's based on the likes of say an iPhone 10R design or we might be getting a dual camera setup similar to what we got on the iPhone 11 and this will basically be a wide angle and an ultra wide angle to lenses. The battery inside it will be a 3110 milliamp battery what is a lot bigger than what we currently get in the current iPhone SE and that's really really good to hear but the base model will be starting in at 429 US dollars for the 128 gigabyte model and 529 US dollars for the 256 gigabyte model. So that is a summary of the new iPhone SE, but we've had a few of you sharing your thoughts of the next generation iPhone SE and what you'd like to see inside it. And to be honest, most of you agree with that the design needs to change, that the iPhone SE model needs to be based on at least the likes of say the iPhone XR or the 11 design. That which should be based on the iPhone X to the iPhone 11 Pro design. The 5.7 inch screen model. Hopefully Apple agrees here and decide to use an old design like this in their next generation iPhone SE. Well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure you press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys I will see you really soon. Bye bye.